Hello and welcome back to more the final stage of Mega Man 2 where we have to fight all the Robot Masters and Dr. Wily. I'm going to go ahead and show you me beating there, man, with only the Mega Buster because people would just not shut up about you being able to beat him with the Mega Buster. I know you can, but he keeps it's a crapshoot about whether you can or not because he keeps, sometimes he just decides that he's going to shoot tornadoes out that you cannot dodge. There's no dodge in some of that. And if you get lucky, you'll get the ones where you can dodge, and if you're not, then you die. Anyway, I'm going to skip ahead because you don't have to watch me beat these guys again, and most of them are just killed with the Metal Blade anyway. Alrighty, now I know I said that most of the bosses are weak against the Metal Blade, but you don't want to waste it. You want to have a little bit of it left over. You also would like t to have a full Crash Bomb uh, meter and some Bubble Lead. Uh, the bubble lead pretty much almost required, uh, and these two will just the metal blade and the crash bombs will just make this segment of Wily just a little bit easier. All right, mine knows a little bit of difference in my metal blade meter. That's okay. Uh, the basic strategy this guy is to time your time jumps over his bullets because they're very damaging, and just be patient, essentially. There's just patience with this boss is all you can do. Alright, now switch to the Crash Bombs. This strategy helps me a lot because I can't see Jack. There you go. Try not to hit him head on. I was trying not to hit him head on, but it was failing horribly. What you actually want to do is kind of aim right below him so the explosion hits him over and over again. I just kind of messed it up. And now there is a sec super secret, hidden, ultra mega, badass final boss layer. <laughs> uh, where we learn the deep dark secret of Dr. Wily. Uh, let's switch to that bubble lid. And those drops will kill you. Well, hurt you, anyway. So try to avoid them. Easier said than done, in some instances, but... That's just what you have to do, because you don't want to fight this wily form in less than full health and without the bubble. Well, if you know the pattern without the bubble, it's not that bad, but it's much, much nicer to have the bubble lid with you. <laughs> anyway, here's Dr. Wily. As it turns out, the reason why he flies around the UFO is because Dr. Wily is an alien. A horribly misfigured alien who travels in a figure eight pattern over and over again. The only things that can hurt him are the bubble lead and your regular Mega Buster. No other weapon will ever hurt him. And it's basically just knowing when to hit him, which I don't know, obviously. Yeah, and don't bump into him. Alright, let's try this again. This guy really isn't that hard. He just, uh... He's not that hard, he just takes a long time to kill. Uh, as I was saying, uh... <laughs> your Mega Blaster and the Bubble Lead are the only things that will hurt him. And he travels his figure eight while shooting at you. So just... The biggest thing I would say is just have patience, which is hard to do when I'm on a time limit. But, uh, that's basically the only strategy you're doing. Have patience, wear him down. Uh, uh, yeah, basically it. And, uh, spam him with bubble lead whenever you can. Because he hurts a lot. And you can't hurt him hardly at all, so. It kind of sucks. Yeah, Dr. Wily sucks a lot. This alien bastard. Come on now, die! Die! And he's a rather boring boss fight as well. Isn't that fun? Oh yeah, and get used to Dr. Wily only being weak against a shortage range weapon. Because it's a recurring theme in Mega Man games. <laughs> Even up to Mega Man X. And I was lying to you, it was all a trick. Dr. Wily was having us fight a hologram Wily. 
And now that the hologram's gone, he's going to continue wiggling controllers over there. At least I hope that's what he's doing. Until the whole thing blows up. And he gets ejected violently from the sea for some reason. And that's it. Mega Man 2 is defeated. Or, or be Wily is beaten and Mega Man 2 is over. That's the way I wanted to say it. And, okay. Do I get an ending? Come on, ending. Come on. Yeah, no. No. And now we get this epic long walk scene straight out of... Uh, well, I was going to say straight out of the Hulk movie, but um, he was walking away and hitchhiking, so I guess it's not really that comparable. Hmm. Yeah. Anywho! Uh, we get to see this nice scenery here as Mega Man shifts through all of his powers. And that's basically it. Nothing special to it, really. Um, yeah. Uh... Various precipitates fall from the sky, but depending on the power you pick. <laughs> I mean, what the hell? That one doesn't even match what the power is. Until we get sunny skies. And Mega Man is suddenly intrigued by the picture. What does he see? Perhaps some shape in the clouds? Oh, wait, no. He ditched his helmet and armor to go play in the fields and be a normal boy again. Yeah, anyway, uh, I skipped all the credits. So, <laughs> uh, thank you all for watching, that was Mega Man 2, and hopefully Mega Man 3 will be a lot quicker than the Wily stages have been for Mega Man 2. Uh, I'll see you then.